Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover and thank you for joining me here. We're playing as a Chichen Itza today. And we are somewhat struggling, but not really too much, against the Nueva Atlan and her ally, Costa Cafenada. Even though Costa Cafenada has technically done more in the war overall with far fewer divisions. And combined, we do have more factories and stuff, but you know, whatever. So right now, we have our Spec Ops. They did a tremendous job assaulting enemy positions using the greatest land doctrine known to the Mayans, the asymmetrical warfare that was employed by the Roman legions eventually after they researched the legion. I don't know, whatever. Um, they probably did some sort of testudo formation, you know, tur tur turtoise, turtle formation, whatever, killing off enemies, but now... Now is what we're going to do. So right now, let's let time go on. I want my divisions, these divisions under Tupil, to come and hold the line. And then I will shift my Spec Ops a little bit more north so that we can navally invade down here and basically do the same type of thing and attack Juchitan de Zaragoza. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, guys. Did I tell you not to do that? Yeah, I definitely told you not to wail yourself against the enemy divisions like that. Ah, uh, free fighters join the real pack. Ooh. That's right. The real pack's over here. They're trying to fight Santa Ana, but they're actually losing a little bit, which is a little surprising, but, you know, whatever. Ah, uh, I love nothing but green. You know, I love green things like grass, money, but I really love winning battles. Now, you can have as much money as you want, but... Winning battles, now that's my weakness. Oh my goodness. Let's see, one division's holding out, kind of for now, as the rest of these divisions are moving up. The infrastructure down here probably isn't super great, especially if it's injured, but we can support the Mero de Adoros. Nice, we got four more naval dockyards, cool. I actually need to research a lot more naval stuff, actually, because that would be very good for us. Um, down here, can't pick up the debris yet. We have to kill off our enemies first. Makes sense, makes quite a bit of sense. Um, let's do mass conscription for the Mero de Doros. For an army to succeed, it must be able to adequately hold a line and occupy land. While the Mero, Mero de Doros are an elite and powerful group, they often come up lacking in their numbers by getting new men out and into the field and reorganizing the composition of our marine forces, we can ensure a steady line and an adequately sized fighting force. We get 2,000 more manpower and we can edit the division template. Well, alright then. We need more fire teams. Oh my goodness, there goes the boom da boom da boom da boom da boom da Uh, schooners, cool, do we have any spare ships perhaps? These are okay, these will come in time. So, with deep within Tlaloc's lair, the miles of circuitry and wiring shuddered with grief. Consoles in the bunkers of desperate enclave remnants seemed to pause briefly down, down, inside the beating heart of Mexico. A god breathed its last, its steel chassis. Jesus uh, shuddered. Life ebbed from its vacuum tubes. In its final moments, the drowning god cried out in anguish. A flood of noise washed over as many radio frequencies as it could. A chilling symphony of death that lingered in the ears. The vital lifeline that many wastelanders w relied on was, for a moment, dragged into Miklan. Miles away from its eroding memory banks. In a mighty and untouchable uh, depot, warheads buried sleeping beneath the earth and all opened their searing eyes at once. For but a moment, a new sun was born in Mexico and then snuffed out. A mushroom cloud reached into the stratosphere as a fraction of America's nuclear arsenal went up in flames. The fireball stretched as wide as a city. The shockwaves traveled the world multiple times. Within Lost Hills, censors solemnly recorded a dead god's soliloquy of carnage. In the wake of Tlaloc's lair, or death, war will come for war, war never changes. Established 2251, the Radiant Times. Very cool. Is there a death scream? Oh. Oh. Ah. Interesting. So yeah, I was really quiet there just to see if I could actually hear what was going on, and I could. Um, I have ears, but yeah, that was, that was actually kind of cool. Didn't kind of expect that, but well, Tlaloc is dead, and Mexico is definitely, definitely on fire. Um, we could attack Puebla City. That that would give me some supplies, but 
If anything, oh, Victoriano Ruiz falls ill. I could attack here and potentially try to cut these guys off, but I don't know about that. I really want to cut off these guys down here, so. Um, you know what? Do the same thing from the same area, because I want to land as many divisions as possible first, and then beat back some of these enemies. That's probably probably my goal. Especially as Nueva Atlan continues to wail itself against me. They got a lot of manpower, quite a few divisions, but uh, nice. Very nice. Oh, the robots of Moctezuma. We've always been dimly aware of Tlaloc. Ever since his destruction of his vast, or the destruction of the vast Aslan forces, a move that enabled us to fend off Aslan forces attacking our lands too, we've held a grudging respect for his robots. However, Tlaloc is no more. Years of infighting within his subroutines have finally killed the personality we've once respected and replaced it with three far worse foes. One of them styling himself Moctezuma after the Aztec Emperor of Old seems hell-bent on restoring the Aztec Empire his historical double once held. The robot seems to take care, to not care, who he must kill to achieve his goals, and Atslan and Itzin alike have fallen foul of his robot hordes. To make matters worse, our troops seem to fear his robots, drastically reducing their willingness to hold their ground. Disaster is at the doorstep. Conflict with Moctezuma is somewhat harder. Recommended. Um... Alright. Deal with the... Oh! Deal with the AI! Our priests have warned us of these monstrosities. Make it somewhat easier. Well, I don't have a border with Moctezuma right now. Oh, they actually took Tlaloc's lair. Uh, they focus on offense quite a bit. This, if I have to fight these guys, I'm definitely going to have to research some anti-tank. Um, You know what? Let's do this. Our men are falling back in terror at the sight of them. Let's do that. Deal with the AI. And we completed with that focus. Nice. I didn't know that would actually complete like that. Cool. Very, very cool. Uh, but right now, we can't really focus on Moctezuma, because we're still fighting a bunch of Aztecs down here. A bunch of crazy Aztec nutters, some would say. Um, one division. We might be able to put put our little wingy in their dinghy. Especially if they don't have enough supplies or manpower or something. Two divisions holding out against us. That might... Oh, we might not be able to do that. Alright, so be it. No wingy in their dinghy. That is fine. We have all the ten divisions right here. I need to switch you guys, since they're not really navally invading us. Take off that. Select all. Do naval invasion support first. Take this off. And if I attack down here... Actually, I want to see how many divisions are actually over here first. If I attack... There's only two. That's not bad. Because we could push that way. And how many divisions are right here? Two. So they have two divisions in total. Cool. Um, go ahead and hold off for now. Because right now, let's go ahead and navally invade first. Are these guys ready to go? No. we got a few days left. Two days left. Oh, I believe I told you to please stop that. Thank you very much. Also, this video might be sh a little bit shorter. I know I say that a little bit often now, but it's just realistic. I don't know how much time I'll have here, so... Um, and we should be good to go. So, let's go ahead and start navally invading. And then, my goal is to just go straight south. If I have to attack to make sure enemies don't really move too far, so be it, whatever. Alright, so, go ahead and attack this area so they can't move around. You do the same type of idea right here. And then we will land somewhat soon. We got a bunch of battle cruisers helping out in the lands next to us. Um, where did my divisions go? Uh, um, got, oh, there you are. Okay, for a second, I was like, where'd you go? So, mass conscription, nice. We can edit our, those divisions now. Let's do next, increase naval capabilities. Encourage officer promotion. That sounds kind of good. Rough terrain training, yes please. Along with their excellence in amphibious invasions, the Mayo, Mero de Adoros have shown promise in rough terrain. We should build on this and train our troops there. Attack, defense, movement inside rough terrain. And that's for all spec up units. That's kind of nice. Cool. So this was a little bit of a risky move for me. Um, actually, how many divisions are attacking down here? We might want to attempt. Half of you guys attack that way, and half of you guys attack that way. Doesn't mean you're actually going to stay that way. Give you as much extra oomph as I can possibly give you on both sides. We might win over here, which would be great if we win over here. That's also good. Okay, so they're trying to attack us in 
in a return. Definitely in the north, but de definitely in the south as well. Alright, looks like we might be winning both battles, which is good. Which is really, really good. Like, if you don't win, then I l lose all 10 Spec Ops divisions. Which is something I'm trying to avoid, so. 91, that's good. 83, that's... Uh, we're getting attacked ourselves here, which is not good. 83, come on, guys. Yeah, you want to attack? Yeah, I'll make sure you don't... You can't attack nearly as well. If we can just get this tile, that's all we need. Come on. And actually, I don't need all of you guys to... Come on. Awesome, we, we linked up. Cool. Um, Nice. So... With you guys, I'm going to do this for now. You're going to be part of the regular line. And you guys can stop attacking. Cool. That's not bad. Now then we're going to attack over here. Maybe cut off a few more divisions. Let our spec ops take a lot of the hits. Because they, even though they're like only 10 combat width, they're still pretty darn good. Uh, they've lost quite a few thousand men. They're still attacking us up here. That's good. They've lost... They must be out of equipment. They have plenty enough manpower, but they don't have enough equipment. Uh, for a sacrifice, less stability. Uh, if I have to do that, I, I will do that. 24.68. Moderate exemptions, light exemptions. Don't really want to do that. Cool. You guys are still attacking us with six divisions against my six divisions. Nice. And right now, spec ops. We can train these to be a little bit better. Or, I could just say, everyone become better Spec Ops. And that way, that'll ruin my, probably... No, that didn't ruin that too much. Spec Ops equipment, not bad. Nice. Incinerators, yes, please. Oh, let's get some more re reliability and... Yeah, just, that's just reliability. Ooh, this stuff is all good to use. I want more of it. Oh, we need to make more flamers. Um, yeah, do that. That'll be good for now. Definitely need to make more military factories. Uh, naval dockyards? Don't really need that as much right now. Actually, I'm running out of space to put stuff. That's not quite ideal for me. But that's okay. So, can't quite push down to where we would want yet. But that's okay. I have enough army XP now that I could do some other stuff. Give me maybe a little bit more trickle back XP loss. That could be good for us. Do that for now since you're going to be taking a lot of hits. Uh, just add on more special forces. So that gives you plus 7.7 .7 soft attack, plus 27 defense, and plus 5 breakthroughs. So what happens if I throw on a demo team? You get 23 defense, 18 breakthrough, which is better than spec ops right now by more than 3. 33 soft attack supply use obviously goes up. Organization goes down by a little bit. Recovery, recovery rate goes down by a little bit. Weight definitely goes up. But, uh... Just the breakthrough, the soft attack, the hard attack, you get slightly less piercing, though. Um... If I add that in, in itself, like that, and then throw on one more Spec Ops Division, that increases soft attack by more than double. Nice. This is probably not a very ideal... Let's see if I do it like this. See, that goes only d down to... Eh, that's okay. I mean, organization's alright. Just make these demos. Yeah, I mean, I want more soft attack and more breakthrough, as well as more defense. Now, th if I use these demo teams, battalions, instead of uh, more spec ops, we do get technically less defense, but we do get a lot more, like 30 more soft attack, so I'm okay with doing that. Do that. I want a lot of demo teams. Cool. Uh, up next, let's do this. Increase naval capabilities. We should further train our troops in the arts of amphibious invasion so that they are swifter to execute should we need it, need them in the future. Cool. So, obviously, as you can tell, I basically just doubled the combat with here. We definitely need to get them some more supplies, but... Oh. Okay, so they're a little, pretty much green. That's okay. That's definitely okay, because with these stats, they could be better, but they should be better overall. Um, they, looks like they've stopped their attack for the most part in some areas. That's kind of, kind of interesting. What if it happens if we attack this direction? Yeah, don't think they can really do much against us. 
I don't mind extending the front, maybe just a little bit if I have to. I definitely want to take out this area over here, though. So, let's see. You four. You know what? Re realign this. I just want you two divisions down here. Or those guys down there. Let's do see this. Get yourself back down there. Take all but one. Attack this way. Take one of you guys. Attack this way as well. Spec Ops. Give them a little bit more force attack. I need more, more, more attack. Can they stand up to us? Maybe a little bit. They can a little bit. Um, they can pierce our divisions, but I wasn't really going for armor on my Spec Ops divisions. We actually have another infantry division, so that's great. Uh, right now, we got plenty of stuff over here. Militarized, militarized, stability stuff, no. Mm, there's really not much for me to do here with my political power. Oh, another division. Good, good, good. We're still losing against Santa Ana. Ooh, the Veil Bandits are back. Kaiser's Legion is definitely kicking some NCR booty. Alright. Take out that division if you can, please. They added one more in there. So be it. Losses, 3,000. 21,000 in total. Very nice. So if we can beat back these three divisions, that would be great. Oh, we could just take the capital. That might even be better. Is there a way for me to encircle some of these divisions here? There might be if I employ these guys successfully. Public projects, very nice. Metalworking, very nice. Let's go ahead and do backyard workshops next. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and do some more engineering stuff because we need some more encryption, decryption, and that type of stuff. If we attack here, what will happen? There's 10 divisions there. Probably not. Nothing good. Probably nothing good. Just give me this tile. Oh, they're breaking now. They're breaking. Awesome. Unleash hell, some would say, in an old Total War game against these two divisions that are getting bombarded, which is very nice. Um, you know what? I'll have you... You don't need a retreat because they stopped attacking us here. Nice. Oh, two divisions. I like playing with my meal before I eat it. Delicious. Ah, oh, just delicious. Cool, you guys come over here. Great job, Spec Ops. And actually, we formed pretty much another front line over here. So you are over here, and you are the same guy. That's not bad. It sounds like Binky's outside my room calling for me to uh, let him in. Sorry, Bink, not right now. Sorry, Binky, not right now. Um, Alright, so Spec Ops, hold the line for now as our divisions are moving around the cabin. Um, But you might as well attack this way, because why not? Give me half of you guys. I love the Spec Ops. I've not used actually Spec Ops since I did my first NCR campaign in Old World Blues. So, I almost never used Spec Ops. Armed Crafts and, ooh, Naval Invasion Support. But let's do Encourage Officer Promotion for our Special Forces to succeed. Each and every man in the bunch must be well-trained and well-learned. Every Mayo Deodoro, Deodor, must be bold and cunning and have a deep understanding of tactics and warfare. It just so happens that these traits are just ideal for a group leader. We should consider drawing our military leadership from the ranks of our Special Forces. Yes, please. It looks like the coffee people. I have no coffee with me, unfortunately, today, but these coffee people are running out of supplies, and I love every second of it. Great. Yeah, keep attacking me. Yeah, come on. Hurt me good. Hurt me harder. Come on. So yeah, then we're just going straight south. Once I get my infantry in every single position, which looks like they're pretty much over there, I want you to just stack up. Everyone buddy up. Get comfortable. Breathe on each other if you have to, because we're going to do an unthinkable type of encirclement. We're going to cut off so much coffee. It's going to be so good. And they've stopped attacking me in the north, which is kind of disappointing. The Shoshone Nation declared one of the Bone Dancers, but whatever. So it really looks like when Santa Ana will probably win, Kaiser's Legion will probably win as well. That's going to be a thick Legion that we're going to have to fight, probably. All right. Um, cool. Oh, we got simple circuitry. Nice. Let's go ahead and get a little bit even more research speed to make up for the lost time. Get that infantry division down there. Everyone is going to attack. Take off two. And then just make your way downtown. Downtown to Juatan de Zaragoza. Yeah, can they withstand ten divisions? Maybe a little bit, but not, not for long. Also, we have a lot of command power. Last time, I didn't get Juan Gomez everything. Give me that. If he upgrades again, if Juan upgrades again, I'll definitely do Offensive Doctrine so we can attack harder, faster, and better. Ernesto? No, you are very well-versed. You're level 6. Holy crap. Tupil, you're doing alright. And then Andreas. Andres? Andreas? 
No one here. All right, you, you are the puppet divisions anyway, so no one even cares. Cool. Um, actually, if they left, you hold. Oh wait, what? No, 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 not everyone hold. Just a few of you guys. There you go. Take that, and then we will begin an attack immediately. There we go. I'm, they still have a port over here, which kind of sucks because I can't get over there. I think. I mean, I'd have to go through nowhere because I can't get over there. Actually, since I'm not navally invading right now... Bink! Bink! Come on, man! Can you come down here? I doubt it. Oh, Binky, Binky, Binky. If I can take this spot, how much supply... I got... Ah, uh, that's quite a bit of supply over there. They need convoys. I can't exactly convoy raid them from this direction. Give me all but one. Come over here. See if we can attack this way. You? Oh, he's calling at my door now. What the heck, Bink? Um, do that. Go ahead and start pushing him in a little bit further and further. Come on. Oh, that's good. I, I like him that. You come this way. As I let Binky maybe into my room. Hey, Bink. Binky. Binky. Come on. Come on, Binky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Binky. You doing all right? You having a good day? Yeah, B Bink. Yeah. Go, 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 uh, sleep in the sunshine. You know, you like the sun. Well, we're doing pretty well over here. Ah, hello there. Oh, actually, if we could cut this cut this area off, then all of these guys will die off. That'll be nice. That'll be very good. Are we going to attack anywhere else? Nope. Oh, hello. This looks like a small problem for you. Nice. Let them move divisions around. Encourage officer promotions. Right, Bing Bing? Let's go ahead and do streamline military industry and reclaiming our military and our indus industry from political allegiance. We found a degree of, the, of inefficiency in how our factories are run. From unmet quotas to corrupt, bribe-taking factories overseers, there's a lot that we can do to improve the pace and quality of our production lines. New leadership and cohesive rules and procedures will fix the issues. Nice. More retention and cap. Ravy Bink, where'd you go? It's somewhere over here. Paz Bandits was annexed, once again. And these guys are going to perish like the dogs they are. Or, I guess, like the ghouls they are. Or Sinaloa Enforcers. They look like ghouls. Yeah. Nice. They're attacking us over here. And if you want to try that, I will strike you in the butt. If you try that, I will strike you in the butt right here. Now, you probably won't win here, but yeah, you definitely won't win there. Uh, recon. Nice. Better recon. Let's get even better recon then. Yeah, my ships can't make it over here, which really, really isn't good for us. Just do patrols for everyone for now, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, over here, this is going to be a little bit of a problem, but with a couple extra divisions, that shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, they tired themselves out. That sucks. Yeah, no. Me mean. There you go, they're attacking us again. Oh, they actually have a little tile over here. I didn't know that. Cool. Well... Well, when the war, when the battle's over, just go ahead and they have a sword. Let's say they have a sword. Nice. Uh, send the infantry this way too. That'd help clean them up a little bit quicker. And there they go. Very nice. So uh, I will leave my spec off to take these guys out over here. Everywhere else, however, we'll do other things. So. Uh, purple guys, how are you doing? You're probably doing very well right now. Go ahead and double up on this line here. Cool. Getting attacked in the north. That's not unsurprising. We've take, taken out 24,000 men. While we've suffered not too many losses of for ourselves. That's pretty good. Right, Bink? Yeah, you're just kind of looking around my room. I mean, you, you've lived here all your almost all your entire life, Bink. Nothing's too radically different. As far as I know. Cool. Yeah, with the Spec Ops here, this should definitely go a little bit more smoothly. And it might pressure some of these guys to attack our line. In the meantime, to drain them of their resources. You have no resources, my friends, and that's okay with me. So we're still using 10 combat with. I definitely have to use Anti-Tank over here. So, would it be a good time, perhaps, to install some more fun divisions? See... Does this help you with breakthrough with 5 plus the breakthrough? Lowers organization by 4, more, 30 more defense. 
demo, 18 breakthrough, 23 defense. Uh, organization goes down by the exact same amount. Uh, let's go and throw in some more infantry for now. Let's see how far we can get with this. 14.4, 16.2. I can make... Uh, let's see. That is 20 combat width. With 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 6, 10. 10 infantry battalions and one demo company. So these... Company. So these aren't as good as my spec ups. Obviously, they're not going to be. But organization actually goes up. Wait, where's my cat go? Oh, there he is. Um, recovery rate goes down barely. An insane amount more defense. I love demo companies, but using our current doctrine, I think this would be for the best. Go ahead. Ruin my supplies. Oh my gosh. We need so much more infantry equipment right now. So this will maybe provoke the enemies to attack us a little bit more if they see that we are not exactly full strength. But now we're playing with some thick boys. And by thick boys, I mean just your average boys. Because 20 combat width is pretty much the average for everything that you do. Um, improved naval support. Eh, that's alright. Anything else? We're starting to run out of things to do. <sighs> power to the people. Do we need electricity? Yeah, we could use a little bit of electricity. Let's do that. So, with power to the people. Having found success in the effort to expand our production of arms and armor, we must be considered the possibility of a projected strain of the military fit for the wasteland. I know I read that very quickly. If we are to go forward as a military power, we must establish greater production of electricity in certain industrial centers. From fusion cores to energy cells, power will be the lifeblood of our growing military in time, and we must see fit to remain ahead of our resource use. Absolutely. Absolutely positively. So yeah, this, this right here is the greatest thorn in our side right now, until we can kill them off. So once these guys are gone, it's probably most likely going to be GG. So, Because then I'll enable invade this tile and basically do the same thing we did a little bit earlier. Cool. Alright, Spec Ops, good luck. Wear them down. 55, 56, 57. Okay, you're, you're doing better than I thought. Tahun Alma Arista. Truly a great Spec Ops leader. Oh, did someone lose a division there? Did some of these ghouls or your own Spec Ops divisions start dying off? Oh, what a shame! The Spec Ops were so proud. Your own Spec Ops, but they they died too soon. Or, I guess I would say, not soon enough. And... The death of your ghoul army is at hand. So, I could just use my Spec Ops to strike into different areas. Actually, we might try that. We might just try a general push in the south. Let's try that. Everyone come right here. And we'll do something like this. I'm going to push this way, push this way. Take Las Colinas de Oro. And circle, destroy, and then maybe make a mad dash through Nueva Aztlan. Actually, if I could... Yeah, there's really no way for me to get my ships around here too well. Alright. Spec Ops, you are the bread and butter of my life. And I love that. Go ahead and do that. I know we're not going to be encircling that many divisions, but that's okay. No longer get effects from cultural upheaval. Yeah, I wish there was more things we could do with our political power. It's really kind of annoying that we can't do almost anything with it. I mean, sure, maybe we can get a... Uh, sent Atache, but they won't accept, so... And I don't really need the army XP, so I don't really see a good point in doing that. Let's having a little bit more fun with our with our meat here. A little bit more fun. Oh, it looks like you're having problems. You can't stand up to my superior spec ops. Nice right, power to the people. Um, great. Uh, let's go ahead and do improve naval support. As we begin to take on larger and more powerful enemies, we have begun to find that the naval doctrine that we've acted with thus far have begun to come up lacking. We're riding in by sea and taking the enemy by surprise was once a powerful tactic. We've begun to face more competent and adequately sized navies, blocking us from our use of our mayor de adoras. We must ensure not only a skilled marine force, but the navy to defend and transport it. Absolutely. Ga Mayans rule the waves. Ryan's Ryan's Mayans rule the waves. Now, there's only three division encirclement. Not that impressive, but whatever. <sighs> Come on. Take them out, and I will end the episode soon, because I actually need to go somewhat soon. Nice. Good. Good. And there you go. Right? There you go. Backyard workshops. Nice. Let's do the next one. Give me more and more factory output. And then next, I will cut off the rest of these enemy divisions. And is anyone good? Alright, so 
prime these guys right here. We're going to go drive a line straight over to here. And then I'll manually control these lines to take out these divisions over here. So we encircle the capital, crush anyone who's within it, and yeah, have a good time. So that's the flag of Nueva Atzalan, which means some of these guys... Not, no, these are all caffeine people. These are all caffeine people. Well, whatever. Come on, Spec Ops. You don't have that much organization. You're losing a little bit of it every day. Uh, it would be good to start doing some anti-tank stuff when we go to war with Makazuma and the other boys over there. Radio's nice. Let's get some more decryption. That'd be great. Go ahead and immediately start attacking. They come up that way. And then take off one, come up that way, come up one, take off that way, take off one, come up here, and then take off one and come over here. Cool. Immediately do force attack just because we need to move very, very fast in this. And actually, it might not be bad if you start attacking this way as well. Just in case. Uh, you, get, you two can attack this way probably to help them out. Oh, we found some definitely some enemy divisions. We can pierce each other. We can't do very much around with that. We still are winning, which is good. Which is very, very good to win. Ooh, infantry is over here. We might not be winning anymore, though. Oh, maybe, maybe not. If anything, we can do is just grab the capital if we need to. So, um, yep, yeah, definitely wearing their divisions out faster than ours. That's good. Losses, not bad. They've lost about twenty-eight thousand improved naval support. And, yeah, unfortunately, that's pretty much all the time for that we have today. A lot of our focuses are done now, which is great, except a few up here. Expand the Gulf Fleet, Naval Reform, let's do that first. At the moment, our Navy is heavily decentralized, focused around small raiding parties and a larger main fleet. We should strive to integrate the fleets together around a central command structure to allow strategic control over the Gulf. So, yeah, actually, with these guys, I'm going to beat these guys up first, and then we'll pause it, and then I might just attack the capital and destroy them there, and then... Let's do that first. So, um, yeah, they'll probably be defeated by the time I do my outro. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you are new. Check out my Discord link below and send me, tell me hello on Discord. And I will see you tomorrow as we will finish up these caffeinated people, as well as begin striking further into Nueva Atlan's land and watch Santa Ana take up the Rio, Republic of the Rio Grande and Kaiser maybe kill off the NCR. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great, great day.